Hi, welcome back to Casablanca Cargo. This is Kathy, and I'm going to share with you today my little postcard index card Ta -da! Um, set with a pouch. Now, I started out with these little strips of fabric that my sister-in-law sent that she had used to make um, rag curtain, uh, not curtains, the rag wreaths. And so I sewed them together and not all of them, I still have a ton left, but I sewed them together and then I decided to cut the, that one and a half strip. Let me see here, I'm going, see it was about one and a half when it was sewn, when it, when it was one strip. Cut that in half so that I could make washi tape, fabric washi tape. And now here's some of that was left over and I made a ruffle as I do. I make ruffles when I need to de-stress and I have needed to de-stress a lot in the last month and a half. <laughs> okay, so here's my index card project box and I have 20 cards so far. So now I'm gonna do well, I counted out six here, but I decided on just five for this project. So I'm going to do cards 21 to 25. And I, yeah, I'm counting each card because, well, I'm using the cards. So here I am again, re, re un, unwinding. <laughs> well, I, as I've been sick for about a month and a half, I had a very bad, um, I don't know. I thought it was a cold, but then it turned into cold and cough, so it could have been even worse than a cold. I don't know. But I still have been coughing for probably about six weeks now. Not as bad as I was before, but it was pretty bad. And so in that span of time, I developed a second medical issue, and I had to deal with that. And so I watched a lot of a lot of YouTube videos during that time and I wish I could give credit to the one that made the fabric washi tape. I'm sorry. I wish I had I had no idea, you know, well, I would have been too exhausted to write things down anyway, but to even think about taking notes. But anyway, if you come across it, I mean, this is not my original idea, but I am um, expanding on it I guess in my own way or using it in my own way so I've got this magazine image and I loved the the you know the one with the with the lady in the hat and the museum or wherever she's at gazebo I don't know wherever she's at museum I guess and some other magazine images that I have collected over the last uh, few weeks months so now's the time to use this one. And so first I'm going to trace around because it's the design specific that I'm going for. So I trace that around and cut it out. And as you see here, I you know I would have loved to have that that uh, other part of the building in the glass ceiling and things, but I, I may use that for something else. I didn't throw it away. Or I put it back in my, my file storage box. And so there's, there's the first one. And I'm using Scotch Create glue. Um, I can also use gold glue for this, but this is the one that was close by. And of course, I didn't want to get glue on my my green mat and I'm, I'm still not really thinking clearly <laughs> um, but you know I still I still want to create so bear with me please and of course I didn't get this on straight so I had to re, re peel it off and put it back on so now on to the next one I want to get another section and well that's too short and it's the wrong way anyway and I decide on the life area 
and so here we go again with tracing around and this time I did remove my green mat so I'm, I'm you know up one <laughs> I'm up one and okay trace around that cut that out and glue the index card now as as I'm going along I've been gluing the non-line sign side of the index card to the the um, the magazine images to the that side of the card not the one with the lines and after I did all that I thought you know I probably should have just glued the lines to <laughs> the picture but I, I don't know I, I some people really like to have lines if they're going to journal and these that's what this this um project is is all about is you can use these cards for for um you know you stick them in a little envelope cut them cut them off stick them in an envelope i have a pouch if you wanted to give gift the whole thing to somebody you can you know give them give it to it as a gift and then they have a place to write on the back and a lot of you know we like lines we like to write on lines so you know you can put it put it on anyway now this one now is not design specific so I put the card on the back side of the image I want to use and that way was much easier than trying to apply the the, <laughs> the the magazine correctly and and perfectly to the front of the index card and so I chose this purple um, another magazine image because it it kind of pulls the pink and purple from the flowers that are beside the lady there on the top and now this is another one where I didn't really worry about where to put the the card and uh, sorry about that there Jay-Z I didn't realize you were on the other side but your image has been you know I always know you're you're behind me and <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to use the lantern. Is that a lantern? Chandelier. White fixture. In this set, but it was a little too short from where I, I had cut it out of out of the uh, magazine. So that's why I, I used that bit of brown carpeting from the other magazine image and this will just sort of fill in the space for me. And here is the last image. It's another another of the um, purple floral, lilac floral, pretty floral. <laughs> and that will be my fifth image. Okay, so come back in with the spool and the and the soon to be what fabric washi tape I'm trying to decide which part of it I want first you know I'm gonna try first and so I do love the the ticking the stripe ticking line so that's what that's what I'm gonna go with and I try to vary each um, section that's going to be used as washi tape. Okay, this is where I'm experimenting 
with the idea of making the fabric strip a washi tape and the video I saw she used double-sided tape um, I don't remember what brand she had but I will tell you that um, for me <laughs> it didn't it did not work but here I'll let you see it So I couldn't get the washi, or I couldn't get the tape off of the fabric, or get this the backing strip off the fabric, so that the tape would stay on the fabric. So I ended up putting the the tape onto the index card, but then I didn't trust that it was going to stick. The the I didn't trust that the fabric was going to stick. So now I'm using the clear gel uh, tacky glue. And that's what I'll use from uh, this point on, even though I do have a, another strip of, of um, double-sided tape there. And this one did stick to the fabric, but again, I wasn't, I wasn't really trusting that, you know, it would, it would stay on, the, the double-sided tape would stay and hold the fabric. Probably score tape, maybe. Maybe that's what she used. I don't. I don't know. This is not score tape. It's just an Amazon brand. On the back side now I've already put one strip down where I, I kind of uh, 
you know, pulled it out a little bit further so that the word life could be seen. And now I'm just gonna cover all the back seams with some more of the fabric and just using the glue and trimming it off and here we go. I let it set for 24 hours and here we are at the next day and I'm going to do some uh, stamping on the back side here. I did do a little bit on the front side but I had to cut that because it didn't quite work out. <laughs> cut it for time. So these are those uh, stamp Stampers Anonymous Tim Holtz postage postcard stamps and uh, there I am just praying it works and it did <laughs> there, there it goes and I have different variations on each card which I'm, I'm glad that um, that they were able to stamp because I don't know I have to I have to admit it was really hard to stamp on the front of these with the magazine image for whatever reason I have to work on that but the back side was just the index card worked fine so you can see why I thought maybe the other side the plain side of the card not with the lines would have worked better in this area but I still like the way it turned out so here is a whole mess of clear frame um, <laughs> stickers I had no idea when I ordered this that uh, so many kinds and shapes and stuff would come out and I I just cut the whole thing of me fiddling with it because nobody wants to see that I was trying to figure out which frame to put over the girl and what would fit and so finally I got this one but yeah I'm gonna I'm I you know almost a lifetime supply of those now here's some fabric I believe it's Riley Blake I think it's called Kona and it's all different variations and shades and hues of colors and so I cut this piece out as a strip and now I'm going to stamp on those I found all these positive quotes in um, a clamshell at the thrift store and I've been wanting to use them and I thought, well, hey, you know, it works so well trying to stamp on the front of the, <laughs> of the magazine. Um, why wouldn't it work stamping on fabric? So here I am, you know, risking it all and just, you know, sweating it out. <laughs> but I'm happy to say it did work out. It's, it's sometimes with stamping blocks, of course, you can't see what you're stamping in that area and so I do do a lot of lifting and looking and lifting and looking but that one that one came out a, a little bit blurry because I think I moved it but I'm I'm okay with that it's you know 
you can still read it. You can still read what it says. And so this is a cotton, so I'm gonna do my best to, to fray the edges just by ripping, which is nice when it, when it does work with the cotton. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna just keep going on here now, stamping my fabric. This stamp was a little bit bigger than the fabric strip, so I had to finagle it to fit. And this is this is me, like I said, lifting and looking and lifting and looking to make sure all the words are on the fabric. Now I decide to tack down these little fabric quotes onto some heavier duty scrapbook paper and then I'm going to glue the paper to the index card and instead, instead of uh, trying just to glue the fabric to the card. So on to the fabric pouch that the postcard strip will be put in. Now these are some leftover scraps. That one was a piece of a duvet that I dyed with marigold and then I made some curtains for my cabinets in my kitchen. That other fabric strip was from some thrifted fabric. And then this right here is a bunch of um, color grabbers. When I dye fabric, I put in color grabbers and then I saved and I'm going to figure out something to do with them eventually. Here's a piece of uh, drop cloth and it's very um, nubbly, uh, you know, kind of real soft. And I'm going to use it to form some sort of, some sort of envelope pouch <laughs> for for this uh, little set here. And I just wanna do one seam on the side. I just need to figure out how much to, to fold over so that the postcards will fit back into the, the pouch. Once I got that pinned in, I needed to trim away the excess because I'm gonna use that for the flap of the pouch. I want to incorporate some scraps into decorating my little postcard pouch. And this is another another bit of um, scraps from some curtains I made. And these curtains I made with the jelly roll strips that my sister-in-law sent. So I can't I don't know how I, I mean it's so cool look at that cut off I don't know <laughs> I took my jet black ink and distressed the edges of my postcards just to kind of grunge them up a little bit now here are the little tags add to your joy by counting your blessings Count your life by smiles, not tears. Count your age by friends, not years. Sunshine in 
the heart not only warms thine own, but all that comes in contact with it. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heavens. Okay, to place the little quote cards now, I'm, this one I had to trim off. I knew it was going to be too long with the color um, titles underneath. So I had already sewn a zigzag at the bottom and I grunged up all the cards with the, the uh, jet black distress ink. And now as I go, because this was sort of like, you know, as I went along, <laughs> I decided to turn these into little pockets so then little tags could go like I showed you there that could go into the pocket and they became pockets I had no idea when I started that's what they were gonna be but here we are And now for the big reveal. Here's my little pouch envelope and it goes through the little strip there and I made a postcard title um, just stamped some some paper and sewed it on and here are my postcard journaling spots if you will. You can journal on the back. You could cut them apart you could use this as storage or you could use this as a gift. You can make it as fancy or as grungy or as modern or whatever uh, you want to do. You know, it's. It, I think it would make a really nice, unique gift for somebody that likes to send um, cards, postcards, things like that, or even for journaling. Okay, thanks for joining me. See you soon.